Hello and welcome to my kitchen. My name is Sherry and today is National Cotton Candy Day. Can you tell I'm excited? I love cotton candy. But today is also Fab Five Friday. So we're gonna be making some cotton candy meringue cookies. But before I get started, if this is your first time here, you love food and fun, go ahead, hit the subscribe button as well as the notification bell and be sure to check the description below to find out how subscribing helps to feed the hungry. So typically with our five ingredient recipes on Friday, they start with butter or oil, some type of fat and salt and pepper. But today we don't need the pepper. We don't need any oil or butter. We just need a little bit of salt, tiny, tiny bit, eighth of a teaspoon. And then the other five ingredients you're going to need are a couple of egg whites, half a cup of sugar, some cream of tartar, some flavoring, and also some food coloring. So whatever color you want to make your cotton candy. So I like cotton candy when it's like, like the unicorn colors, like the pink and the purple and the blue. So we're going to do three different colors, or I'm going to do three different colors today. So to get started, I have two egg yolks, or egg whites, I should say, not yolks. And one thing that I would suggest is to crack them in a separate bowl. Even if you get the tiniest bit of yolk or shell in here, it will ruin these and you will not, won't get those really nice stiff peaks. So we're going to go ahead and start to whip this. I have an eighth of a teaspoon of salt I'm going to add to this. And then we're going to add our cream of tartar. So one quarter teaspoon. And then we're going to turn this on high and we're going to let this whip until we have some really nice stiff peaks. All right, I think that's good. So one thing you want to make sure you're doing is scraping down your sides every once in a while. And then once we have these really nice stiff peaks, we can go ahead and start to incorporate our sugar, but we only want to add about a tablespoon at a time. We want to make sure the sugar dissolves before we add any more. So I'm going to turn this back on. I'm going to keep whipping this until all of my sugar is gone, just one tablespoon at a time. I think that is good. So I'm going to go ahead and take my whisk off of here, take my bowl off, and I'm going to go ahead and set this aside. So I put the base in my mixer away, and now I'm just trying to get out as much of this meringue as I can from my whisk. It's kind of stuck. And you'll know when you've done this properly because you see how it sticks. <laughs> Beautiful peaks. You should actually be able to hold the bowl upside down and it not fall out. Okay, so because I'm going to do three different colors, I'm going to separate this into three different bowls. So if you want the three different colors, you want to make it a little bit easier, you can actually just take a paintbrush that you've dedicated for, you know, just foods alone, and you can paint stripes down the inside of your piping bag. But when I do it that way, it's more of a white meringue, and then just like the tips are colored, and it's like a really bright color. So I like to incorporate it in and make it like a really nice pastel color. And some of this I might even leave white. All right, I think that's good for my color. So I'm going to scrape out the rest of this and go ahead and put this into my piping bag. If you guys have seen me work with a piping bag before, <laughs> I think I have two or three videos out there where I grabbed a hold of it and all the batter or whatever I had in there has fallen out the other end. <laughs> but since this meringue is so stiff, I might actually do a decent job with this today. So I'm going to kind of press this along the edges. So that when I go to squeeze this out, it's not all going to be just the white that's coming out of there. All right, let me rinse my hands real quick. Okay, so now for our colors. So I'm going to do blue and purple. So we also need a little bit of our pink for our purple. And then we're going to do some pink. So we'll give all these a stir. Set that down in there. And they don't have to be mixed all the way. And then last one is going to be my pink, which I might have put too much food coloring in. It might be more like a red. <laughs> all right, I think we are ready to add these to our piping bag. So I'm just going to alternate a little bit of pink, a little bit of blue. I am a mess with a piping bag. 
and a purple. I'm going to fold my sides up just a little bit. Maybe I can push some of this down in there. I really should go to like a craft place and like get some get some skills. <laughs> Do some training or a class on how to decorate cakes. Maybe I'd be better with this piping business. All right, so we're going to add a little more pink again. A little more blue. And purple. Let's see. Let's get the rest off a spoon. And then we can use our scraper to get the extra out of here. Last of our meringue there. All right, so I'm going to toss my bowls in the sink. Get rid of my food coloring. And then I have a large, extra large cookie sheet here that I've just lined with parchment paper. We better leave it that way. And this is the Reynolds parchment paper. I'll put a link for this too down below. I like the Reynolds because it's marked, so you can actually make them all the same size. It makes it a little bit easier to do so. Okay, so my piping bag is fitted with a star tip, and then we're just going to squeeze some of this down in here. And I'm just going to start piping out some little... And this is... This is a large star tip. I didn't have a small one. So these are going to be like some bigger meringue cookies. Here comes our color. Oh, that was pretty. Okay, so last one here. So this made just about 12 cookies. So if you want to you know, make the smaller ones, you have the smaller bag with the smaller tip, you're gonna get a full dozen out of here. And this was actually a recipe that I have. So if you want to double the recipe that I just used, you would actually wind up with 48 smaller cookies. So when we bake these, we're actually not really baking them, we're more so just kind of drying them out. These are gonna go in an oven 225 degrees. We're gonna leave them in there for an hour. And then after an hour, we're just gonna turn the oven off. We're not gonna open the door or anything. We're just gonna leave it in there. We're gonna let them cool down for two hours. Now our cookies are done baking, or drying out, I should say, but they still need a couple of hours to kind of cool down in the oven. So here's a batch that I did a little bit earlier today. So these are a little bit lighter than the other ones I made, so that's why I add quite a bit of food coloring to the other ones. I think they'll be a little bit prettier, but nevertheless, they do look like cotton candy, so let's give them a taste. It tastes like a cotton candy marshmallow cookie. <laughs> really, really good. They're really pretty on the inside. Look at that. Super cute. I think the kids would have a blast with these. These would be really pretty for a little girl's birthday party too. So I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Give it a try. Let me know what you think in the comments below. I thank you so much for watching. Bye.